Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly forecast for the 19th of June to the 23rd of June 2017. We're going to start off by looking at the US dollar index and we're going to look at oil. And then we're going to look at a number of currency pairs that we're looking for opportunities in in the coming week. We're going to look at the key levels of support and resistance which we will be looking to take those opportunities from in those currency pairs and we're also going to share with you the targets that we're looking for in those pairs for the coming week so without further ado let's jump over to the charts and we'll see where the money is this week starting with the us dollar index the us dollar index is in a downtrend overall and we were looking for more lows to come in the us dollar index last week we did in fact get a new low in the US dollar index last week, but we didn't quite reach down to the target, which we were looking for somewhere in this area. Instead, we got a kind of double bottom formation here, as you can see. And with that being the case, we go into this week with the US dollar index being in a range. Now, with the US dollar index being in a range as it is, we're going to go into next week without a significant bias on the US dollar index either way. And what that means is we're going to go into next week looking to trade the technicals as they appear on the currency pairs themselves without having a bias on the US dollar index to the upside or to the downside. So next, let's have a look at oil. Oil, as we can see, is in a down channel. It is trending to the downside and we expect to see more lows in oil next week. It did start to correct to the upside at the end of last week and as you can see it started to push higher in the four hour chart. It is now accumulating in this area and we are now looking for oil to come down to the 43.67 area next week. Please remember that these are areas, these are not specific levels. So we're looking for it to come down to the 43.67 area next week which gives us a bearish bias on oil next week at least at the beginning of the week once it gets down to this key level of support at 43.67 we may see oil turn to the upside so just bear in mind if it comes down here early on in the week we would be looking for the rest of the week if we get a bounce from here with a bullish bias on oil from this key area of support down here now something important to note last week we did have a divergence on the correlation between oil and the Canadian dollar Usually we look at oil because if oil is pushing to the upside, it has a positive influence on the Canadian dollar. And if oil is pushing to the downside, it conversely has a negative influence on the Canadian dollar. However, last week we saw oil pushing to the downside and we saw the Canadian dollar pushing to the upside. And this was because of an announcement made by the deputy governor of the Bank of Canada on Monday. So the fundamentals last week were catalyzed to the upside for the Canadian dollar, hence why we saw a divergence between oil and the Canadian dollar. Just bear in mind, if we do see the US oil pushing down next week, we could still see that divergence in place and we could still see some Canadian strength coming in because of the fundamentals in the Canadian dollar. So the first currency pair we're going to look at this week is Euro US dollar. Euro US dollar had started to make a rising wedge pattern denoted by these trend lines here. However, instead of getting squeezed, price actually broke to the downside and it broke out of the lower trend line here. And you, as you can see, towards the end of the week, we got a pullback and a retest of this upward sloping trend line here. We are, as a result, going into next week looking for further declines in the euro US dollar. Now, we either expect to get these declines from the place where it's testing now, which is this upward sloping trend line, or we may get a push a little bit higher and a retest of the key level of support 1.122 which was here and which was broken and for this key level of broken support to become resistance so somewhere in this area we're going to look for bearish patterns to the downside and we have a target on the euro us dollar a potential target of 1.10190 so around the 1.10190 area we're going to look to take our profits if we get the right kind of setups to the downside in the euro us dollar next week the next pair we're going to look at is the pound us dollar 
Pound US dollar found some support at the lower trend line here, denoting the bottom of the channel of these two trend lines here. It bounced from this area and it's starting to push back up above roughly the support level, as you can see over here and over here, around the 1.277 area. If we continue to see this push higher, further into this area, we're going to be looking for bullish patterns and bullish formations and a retest of the top of the channel over here. And we have a target set roughly at the 1.293 area up here. So we're looking for a target at the top of the channel up here. If we start to see this push higher and we see some bullish formations and patterns appearing in this area, we're going to be looking for a target up near the 1.2935 area and the top of the channel up here on pound US dollar. The next pair we're going to look at is Aussie US dollar. We're prepared to play the Aussie US dollar both ways next week. As you can see, it's sitting at a key area of resistance of 0.7616 around this area here. Now, if we start to see a rejection from this key area of resistance up here, we're going to be looking for a target to the downside of 0.75175. It's a retest of the highs over here. And as you can see, fairly well defined area of support and resistance in the past as well. If, however, we start to get a push to the upside and Aussie US dollar maintains itself above the 0.761, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns in this area. And we're going to be looking for an overall target to the upside, the next key area of resistance at 0.7679. So on the Aussie US dollar, we are prepared to play this either way. If we start to see a breakdown into this area, we're going to look for bearish formations and patterns to the downside with a target of 0.75175. And if we start to see this push higher and make new highs, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns in this area here, looking for an overall target of resistance to the upside at 0.76790. The next pair we're going to look at is the New Zealand US dollar. The New Zealand US dollar traded into the key area of resistance at 0.7273. And you can see it sold off fairly heavily. It pushed through and it failed to stay above this key area of resistance and it sold off and capitulated fairly hard once it pierced the top of this resistance area. We started to get a correction and a pullback towards the end of last week. And we do now expect further declines in the New Zealand US dollar in the coming week. We could be looking for bearish formations and patterns from where we are coming into next week on the New Zealand US dollar. However, we may also get a retest of the key area of resistance at 0.7273 up here. So just be aware of that. This is an area we're going to be looking to take shorts from if we get the right kind of bearish patterns and formations in this area over here. We do have an overall target to the downside of 0.70553. And you can see that it's also near the upward sloping trend line that we have here. However, we also have intermediary targets to the downside on the New Zealand US dollar. So we're going to be keeping a very close eye on target one, which is 0.71504. And then just below that, as you can see, keeping this accumulation level intact, the 0.71145 target down here before we get to the overall target of 0.70553. So we are looking for shorts and bearish formations and patterns in this area to take this trade potentially down to the 0.70553. However, we are gonna keep a close eye on the intermediary targets here of 0.71504 and also 0.71145 just below it on the New Zealand US dollar, but we do favor shorts from roughly where it's sitting now next week. The next pair we're gonna look at is US dollar Japanese yen. US dollar Japanese yen twice broke below the key area of support at 110.179 here. It broke below it down here on the 5th of the 6th and it broke back up, retested it and it tried to push down from here but failed at the lows over here on the 7th of the 6th. We got a kind of double bottom formation here and it broke back above the 110.179 area of support here turning resistance and now it's broken back above this and it's failed as resistance we're looking for a potential retest of this broken resistance area here to become support and we're looking at a retest of the 110.179 area here for longs bullish formations and patterns in this area up towards the 112.105 area next week 
So we are looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear on the US dollar Japanese yen. If they come in the area we are now, we're going to take them from here. However, ideally we'd like to see a retest of the 110.179 where we can look for bullish formations and patterns in this area and look to initiate longs up to the 112.105 area next week. The next pair we're going to look at is pound yen. Pound yen broke above the key area of support over here at 141.047 last week. It tested it as resistance after breaking through the support area over here, pushed down, came back up to test this area again over here, failed to push any lower and we got to break back above the key area of support and resistance over here, support over here, resistance over here of 141.047. So we are looking to initiate longs on the pound yen potentially next week. And what we're looking for is a pullback and a retest of the 141.047 area of support and resistance over here. And around this area, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns in order to take the trade up to the target we have earmarked here at 143.029. So next week, we are going to look to initiate longs from the key area of support and resistance, 141.047. If we get the right kind of bullish formations and patterns here, we're going to take this trade up to the 143.029 area or this target up here next week. The next pair we're going to look at is Euro Pound. As you can see, from the 25th of the 5th to the 8th of the 6th, Euro Pound was sitting in a range defined by this line here and also this range top over here. It was accumulating between these levels for that period of time. We did get a break back above on the election night of the uh, UK elections. But since then, it has broken back into this accumulation zone. And so next week, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns right from where we are now, which is roughly the 0.876 area of support and resistance, the top of this range dating back over here. And we're looking for bearish formations from this area and patterns in this area to take the trade down to the range bottom, denoted by this range bottom over here. And that is a target of 0.86564. So next week, if we get the bearish patterns and formations that we're looking for in this area, we're going to be looking to initiate shorts down to the target of 0.86564 next week on this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is Euro Japanese Yen. Euro Japanese Yen has been sitting in a range, as you can see, denoted by the range bottom over here. And we also have a range top up here. Price broke out of the range bottom, as you can see, it was accumulating underneath the range bottom all the way between the 6th of the 6th to the 15th of the 6th. And on the 15th of the 6th, you can see we got a break back into the range and now we are looking for a pullback a retest of the range bottom which is 123.492 and we're looking for a retest of this range bottom in order to initiate longs so we're going to look for bullish formations and patterns at this range bottom a pullback into this area before we initiate longs up to the range top of 125.672. So just to reiterate on the euro yen next week, we are looking to play this from the bottom of the range and a pullback to the bottom of the range at 123.492. And we're going to look to initiate longs up to the 125.672 area, which is the range top going back all the way over here. So the next pair we're going to look at is pound New Zealand. Pound New Zealand bounced from a key area of support at 1.74757 last week. And it bounced up from this area. And as you can see, it's starting to make its way up. And we have a kind of bullish pattern here now to the upside. We are looking for this support level to hold next week. And we're looking for a potential move up to the target of 1.79387, which is a area of resistance on the four hour charts as you can see over here it acted as support over here it acted as support we get a breakdown and we get a third confirmation over here as resistance so we're looking for a retest of this target at the 1.79387 so going into next week we are going to look for bullish formations and patterns in this area here and we're going to look to take those longs up to the 1.79387 target next week on this pair the next pair we're going to look at is the aussie new zealand 
The Aussie New Zealand has broken above the key area of resistance over here once, twice, three times, and even four times over here. And as you can see, it was support back here. It has started to accumulate above the 1.04942 area of resistance over here, broken now looking to become support. So we're looking to initiate longs and we're going to look for bullish formations and patterns from the area where we sit now next week. And we're looking for a potential target to the upside of 1.06112, which is the next key area of resistance on this pair to the upside. So if we get the bullish formations and patterns we're looking for in this area here, we're going to look to initiate longs next week on this pair up to the 1.06112 target on the Aussie New Zealand. The final pair we're going to look at is New Zealand Franc. We were looking for the New Zealand Franc to potentially turn at the top of a range. We don't have the range on here, but there is a range over here and also a range bottom down here, which we looked at last week. It didn't turn at the top of the range here and instead it started to push higher and it has now traded into a very significant area of resistance at 0.70494. So what we're looking for next week potentially is a move to the downside on the New Zealand franc from this significant area of resistance. And if we get a push to the downside and we enter back into this territory over here, we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to initiate shorts down to the target of 0.69208. So if this starts to break back down into here and this area of resistance holds, this significant area of resistance up here at 0.70494, we're going to look to initiate shorts and we're going to look for bearish formations and patterns to form in this area around here and we're going to look for a target to the downside of 0.69208. So that is it from me for this week, guys. Last week, we had a very nice week. We had the ETI account making fresh highs for the year. Hopefully, you all had a good week last week, and hopefully, we can have another good week this week. If you like this video today, please let me know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Don't forget to trade safely, and good luck.